Hello and welcome, this is STR Rank, and today I'm playing some more Hogwarts Legacy on PC. We just uh, are getting hopped back in here, and I think that I left off needing to do a harvest run of everything that we have. So let's uh, go pick everything up. It's been a few days since I last played, so let's see what we can get and do here. Oh, I guess we're full up on chomping cabbage now. All right, and let's see. Okay, we got most of everything we need, and I think on potions we're probably doing pretty well, except for our focus potion. That's one thing that we're gonna need. We need to collect a bunch of dog. Dog. Uh, what was the name of this thing? Dung bog. I don't know. Totally blanking on the name of that other. Uh, Thing. The tongue. <laughs> I'm out of it. Okay, let's see. Oh, we do have gear to identify too. Cool. Ah, Nomad Hat. And it's just like a blue. Oh, that's not any good. Okay, let's go pet the beast. Beast, where are you? Alright, get your cuddles. Make me some more. Whiskers and fur, please, and feathers. Oh, everybody's eating. Okay, who else do we have here? Let's see, I don't think. Oh, I've got Cligo. I need a Halloween. There we go. Oh, wrong button. Come on, kitty. What about you? Well, I need some scrub and tea. Here we go. All right, little flooper. Here we go. What about you? Okay. Uh, let's see, we've got a click from one of our measles. And this little guy needs cuddles again. I thought we already did it. Alright. Uh, let's see. Is that everybody? Yep. Okay. Okay, a kind of spooky place. Here we go. Let's see, here's our other Thestral. Come on, frog. Eat. 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 There you go. Oh, is he already getting food? Yep. All right, got them all. Now we go. And now we have our last vivarium, the one out by the beach. Let's get them all fed. Let's start with cuddles first. There we go. Oh, I guess you're already eating. Are you too? Guess so. Oh, already eating. Okay. What about you, little buddy? OK. 
Okay, everybody's eating. There we go. Come here, little mooncalf. I see you're eating too, huh? Okay. Got you, little niffler. Okay. Which one of these is wanting me to harvest? Oh, okay. Is this one that wants left? There we go. Uh, let's see, the Irondale Piffler. Piffler. Pilferer. There we go. It's looking like it's having a little bit of difficulty. There we go. Alright. So we need to do care for the blue Trevor Hall. Okay, everybody is nurtured, so let's uh, run away and we will go look at our inventory and perhaps get some things sold if we need to because I had been on a few adventures. Let's see. Yep, not really much to sell. I know we identified that one piece of clothing, but I don't think it's going to be worth it going to a big hassle to do it all. Um, well, let's see. Thinking about checking out our map here and seeing what our missions are. Summoner's Court mission, or match three. Let's just go for it. I think that could be fun. Might do a handful of Merlin trials and uh, maybe ancient magic hot spots you know the like so let's uh do this first and then we'll do some of those other more repetitive, Hello, Grace. repetitive things what are you doing here nice to see you thank you again for your help at the lake i've become quite good at summoner's court and i'm waiting for my next opponent i suppose that's you i suppose so shall we begin i'm game well let's see what you're made of Oh, hmm. This is an interesting variation. You didn't see that. Okay. Is it going to let me equip Akio? Okay. Hmm. So getting 100 is a ramp. And we got 50s. Interesting. Okay. Hey. What a remarkable shot. Oh, no. Well, that was kind of crap. Okay. Say. Impressive. Heck yeah, it is. I'm guessing she's gonna pull out a 100 right here, isn't she? Oh, maybe not. Let's see if we can pull off another 100. Akio. All right. Impressive. Well, it appears I've been bested. Well done. Diving, summoner's court. Seems there's nothing you can't do. It's not because I'm the ultimate dark wizard. You played a good game though, Grace. I did play rather well, didn't I? Only one student has ever beaten me. She's very good. But if you play the way you did against me, you might stand a chance. Oh, who I is do it? wish you would take your time. I do wish you'd take your turn. <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely a uh, little glitch there. That's funny. 
Okay, another mission down. Cool. Uh, let's look at our talents and see where we want to spend that new point. Uh, let's see. Bombarda, explosive massive area, damage. But our dark hearts. Hmm. Interesting. That would be kind of cool to add to our Crucio, I think. But like I said, I'm just not super interested in spending our points on this. Uh, ancient magic throw. Catches and throws disarmed weapons. And blocking a spell of perfect Protego. Wigan Weld. Stupefy. Protego. Don't care about the stealth. And I think on the room requirement, I largely don't care about improving any of these things um, as well. I just want to double check. Yeah, maybe I'll put another one in there, but I'm kind of thinking right now on the core, this ancient magic throw catches and throws disarmed enemy weapons. I think that'd be cool because I could do a disarming move and then use their weapon against them. So maybe that could work out. I'll need to try to keep that in mind in the next fight. Alright, uh, let's see. I don't think there are any challenges or anything inside of Hogwarts itself. Like everything um, is going to be on the world map, actually. Let's see where we want to take it. Um, oh, a cursed tomb treasure. Let's just say, uh, came upon a lot chest. I should unlock the chest, see what it holds. Well, interesting. Um, I'm not exactly sure why this one is something I haven't finished. Let's just go ahead and warp there and see if we can finish it off. Finish it off. Oh, she didn't chat me up. Hey, doggy. Oh, didn't get to finish. Oh well. Open lock chest under the old manor in Manor Glen. Uh, well, maybe, maybe this is marked because I had to have. Um. Hello, Mora three or something like Abandoned that. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. It feels like I'm making progress towards it. Ah, that's it. Hello, Mora. Okay. Hey. All right, more in fury to fire. Incendio. Send 
know it's over here. Oh. Rebellion. Hmm. Interesting. There's two in Fury down here. Fast and in Furious. Okay. Looks like there's another dark wizard or something lurking over here. Oh, it's Alyssa. Okay, nice. Swept the Ash Hunter Assassins and Redacted Cast of the Pulso. Yeah, I guess that, that's not going to happen, is it? Wow, the Chomping Cabbage is being good. Oh, didn't quite get that out in time. Incendio. There we go. <laughs> I do like that we're getting into a little bit of a... Oh, the Lord of the Manor. Interesting. I guess he's reanimated too, huh? Alright. Well, cool. That was an exciting little fight. I liked it. I don't know what she's doing down here trying to reanimate the Lord of the Manor. Mont Mr. Wuthering, I can hear the infury that Thana summoned drawing closer. It has been an honor to work for Green Gaunts as a curse breaker. I should have noticed that Thana could no longer be trusted. She was my partner after all. I hope you will forgive me for falling short in that regard. Please tell my family that I died fighting in Fotine, I guess? Hello, time. Oh, well, another puzzle to figure out. Um, I guess this is saying to use Flipendo on something. Get things facing a certain way. I have no idea where this is at. I guess we'll have to look at the map carefully. Interesting to see where this leads. Cursed tomb treasure. Rebellion. Maybe it leads uh, if I go through here to where we need to go. Confringo. Here we go. Oh, we were up here earlier, I think. Um, we're in the general area. So, let's see. Yeah, so we got this map. And we can't actually do anything with it. Um, let's try looking at it one more time in our inventory. And seeing if we can tell what it matches up to on the map. Maybe. Okay, there's like a waterfall and some some weird stuff. I'm taking a picture of this so that I can kind of hold up my phone and review it side by side while we're looking at the overall map. Um, let's go in here and see what we can find. So to me, it looks like land with water around it a bunch of weird little craggly bits to hmm You know, it looks a lot like this area, kind of, me think, but it looks rotated and I wouldn't think it would be rotated. 
I think so far anytime I've done one of these it's been kind of in line with uh, the overall layout. Hmm. Let me make sure I've actually got the quest selected too. It's monolith near a waterfall too. I'm just not sure I've seen too many waterfalls. I mean, it could be like, ah, uh, it's got to be up over in here. Yeah, it's over here. Yep. All right, cool. I think this is maybe one of the only waterfalls I've seen in a game of any kind of substantial size, so there can't be too many. And a bit unsettling. All right. Somewhere, yeah, I think it's right over here. There are some stones or something that we need to flip. Maybe it's in here? This one I've already done. And I just had to revisit to use the right spell. I feel like it is. I feel like I've already done this one. Um, and this is just purely about me coming back to input the code so I can get a treasure. Yeah, that's what it's got to be. Gringotts mate to Thana and Fotine. Our clients have indicated that one of their ancestors may have been entombed with part of the family fortune. We're concerned that the tomb may be cursed. Please go to the location on the map, break whatever curses you may find, and retrieve any valuables on behalf of the family. You write to me personally should you need anything. Good luck. Grilco Weathering, head curse breaker, Gringotts mate. Rebellion. That's a pretty cool job. Curse breaker. Sounds almost like a uh Professional wrestler's nickname or something. Bring it on, the curse breaker. All right. Let's see. Considering the bones, I'll assume this is a tomb. Mr. Weathering, if you do not make it, I urge you to look through all mine and Thanos' curse breaking assignments. Thanos' betrayal today is any indication I suspect she may have been keeping a portion of all the treasure we found and only reporting a fraction of it to Green Gods. Rebellion. Confringo. Ooh, look at him bleeding. Gross. Um, Rebellion. Okay, we lit that up and assume there's nothing else there. Those look like there's a uh unclaimed chest over that way that I need to find out how to get to. Maybe we'll see it after crawling through this little spot. Oh, it's not. Well, actually, yes, there is one. That's what we've seen. I wonder if there's another note back here. Must be something around here I can Okay. Climb. First note, Miss Weathering, I'm running to you in hopes that when you look for me and cannot find me, you know, will know why. Found the tomb where we were to retrieve the family treasure, but the moment we did so, Thana animated the bodies that lay within and turned them on me. I suspect that she wants to keep the treasure for herself. We'll try and hold off the Fury as best as I can. Fourteen. Confringo. Bombarda. Incendio. I will light like this eventually. Okay. Confringo. Bombarda. Crucial. 
Oh. Oh, there it is. Let's see, where's that one going? Oh, now that hit me from an incredible distance. <laughs> I think I was out of the hitbox on that one, personally. Okay. Now, where is the place that we're supposed to flip around? Maybe I do just need to climb up here. Oh, wait. That's a different... I wonder if Crucio really even works on that theory. Zombies. Hmm. Aha, uh -huh, there they are. So I guess I went through this area before the quest. And that's why like everything was kinda higher level and difficult at the time. That makes a lot of sense. Alright. So there should be a way to flip these. Okay. That looks correct. Oh, cool. Wonder if a wall's gonna open up. Glad to have got something after defeating those in fairy. Alright, the treasure seekers uh thing thing with Bob. Okay, I guess we did it, huh? Um, let's check out our outfit. Okay, can't wear that. And that's something we need to identify. Let's look at our appearances. I think it was actually an outfit. So... Let's see, I think it was the Treasure Seekers. Although I don't immediately see it. Um, there it is. Treasure Seekers attire. Okay. I want to say in my uh, Dark Hearts stuff are a bit longer though. I'm enjoying it. Okay, well we got that little mission done. Um, now, for real... Oh, we actually have to backtrack out of here. See about this game doesn't have an escape rope or something like for Pokemon, because it does seem a little bit weird to me um, that I have to manually backtrack out of here, but I know we could use excuses of there being a curse or whatever on the area to make it more dramatic, but I mean, after you've already completed the dungeon, I think they should just say you cured the curse or like broke the curse or whatever and um, could warp out. To me, it seems like a little bit of a waste of time to have to uh, go back like that. Multiply it across millions of players, and it's a lot of time. Okay. This looks a lot like land that we could actually step over. Um... Deer call the mongrel there. How about we do one of these treasure vaults or maybe both? Hmm. Looks like we're gonna have to fight some dark wizards. Maybe. 
I'll check your pockets after you're dead. Hmm. I'll just leave them be. I think I've wiped them out before and it wasn't really much of a fight. <laughs> this looks intriguing. Okay, we'll go ahead and take out these fools. Book Red Barrel with Bombarda. Ah, oh, there we go. Bombarda! Okay, little Dark Wizard. You're all done. So, I heard about this trick to somebody. Um, actually, we don't have transfiguration yet, or transformation. I will demonstrate that at a later date. Revelio. Okay, let's see. I think I was supposed to go down here. Oh, apparently we're not tracking the treasure cave now. Rebellion. All right, ceramic mask. Let's look and see if there's anything else. I think there is another treasure nearby, so I'd like to go ahead and knock it out too. And while we're all gathered, and there's a Merlin trial also, so maybe we'll get it too. Oh, I think it turned around here. Oh, here we go. I don't know why but that kind of blurred into my field of vision and I didn't quite see what was going on. Oh, this one's down in a weird spot. Bombarda. Let me through. I should investigate. Hmm, is that the end of it? Revelio. Probably not. Okay, I think that gave me money, right? Is that it? Is it off the map? Okay, I guess so. Um, Alright then. Good deal. There's a Merlin trial up here to, to complete. Hmm. Here we go. Could it be a Merlin trial? It is. Is this a lead the butterflies type deal? I think it is. Lumos. see there's usually three of them so where is our third set aha I'm way over there Sorry, Inferi, I got more important things to do in intimidation. Self. Lumos. There we go. Not so tricky after all, Marlin. Alright, let's look at that Inferi before it gets too mad and runs away. Re 
Alright, interrupt to Burning and Furious overhead slam with Bombarda. Good for you. Incendio. Oh. I guess that, that was too much. <laughs> Alright. There's, I think, one other treasure really close by, so let's go look for it. Just go ahead and clean out this whole little area. Oh, this is a diving one. I haven't been to one of these in a little while. It's cool you can dismount your broom to get into the water. It's nice that they're at least kind enough to let us do that. Uh, let's see. I guess we're going out over this way, huh? Okay, nice. This is a little less straightforward than the other one that I dove into. Rebellion. Okay. Um, I assume that's it. But I want to double check. Yeah. We cleared that one. Okay. Well, we did it. Um... How's about astronomy table? The uh, next Merlin trial I'll have, instead of using the broom, I want to try landing on it on the mounts and see if that'll count or not. It's nice having another little follow up about how that story went. It's cute. This game really needs like a little world clock. Okay. Here we go. Well, this is an interesting one. It's got to be something like this, right? Yeah, there we go. Lupus. You've got lupus. Okay. Where to now? That might be a fun one to do. Actually, I think I will go ahead and do it. Just have a uh, another intermission since I've done a couple more little things. I'm really vibing with uh, today's stream. You know, doing a few things here, a few things there, and just kind of going after whatever sounds fun. Another in Fury? The Ashwinders cannot be allowed to run backdog over our way of life. Confringo. Bombarda. Hmm. I guess I didn't count. 
Ah, that might be the overhead side. This thing I'm really talking about. Here we go. All right. Is everything all right, Madam? Olivier, Madam Olivier, and no, everything is not all right. The vermin known as the Ashwinders have infested nearby Klagmar Castle, disrupting not only our sense of peace, but our valuable trade. It appeared that they were finally going to slither away until Sylvana Selwyn arrived. Sylvana Selwyn? Head rat. My guess is that if someone were to take out Selwyn, the rest of the Ashwinders would disperse. But Selwyn is a skilled wizard. I certainly can't take care of him myself. Believe me, I wish I could. I'm at my wit's end. Sylvana Selwyn? I thought Victor Rookwood headed up the Ashwinders. Selwyn's one of Rookwood's lieutenants. Not quite as terrifying as Theophilus Harlow, but a menace nonetheless. Where is Clagmar Castle? Clagmar Castle's along the south coast, south and to the west of here. What's so dangerous about the Ashwinders? They're not your typical thieves and extortionists. Not that typical thieves and extortionists are lovely company. They would not leave poor Bella Navarro alone. She'd given them everything, but still they kept threatening her. She was ready to go back to her family in Italy, almost lost her livelihood. They are ruthless. I could take care of Selwyn for you. Goodness, no. I'd never ask a student to confront Selwyn. But I'm offering a nice bounty on his head. Feel free to put the word out. Yes, yeah, sorry, I did it. Selwyn has been taken care of. <laughs> you defeated Selwyn? Merlin's beard. A student took down one of Rookwood's top fill. Then I suppose this bounty is yours. Well deserved. I'm glad I could help protect Cragcroft from the Ashwinders. The thieves will finally leave us alone. Thanks to you. You're uh. welcome in Cragcroft any time. It's such a pleasant place when it's not being threatened by Ashwinders. Any day is a lot of work. <laughs> Rebellion. Let's see. There's a chest or two on the map. Let's go see if we can find them. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. I do too. We might not do that before we leave this area. Alohomora. Just do a pocket of random collections today. Somebody's fighting outside. Right, who's causing trouble? See somebody. Can't tell if it's a goblin or what. Ah, oh, one of the poachers. This will get his attention. Ouch. The beasts around here can sleep a bit easier. Rebellion. Here we go catching them. Alohomora. Okay, little buddy. Actually, we need another deer call, so let's see if we can get it. Um, here we go, here we go, here we go. Get in the bag. This little turkey just about got away from me. Everything's alright now. 
Okay. Revelio. Oh, cool. That was fun. Let's see this Merlin. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Um. Okay. Oh, it's on the light the fire challenges. Hmm. Confringo. Rebellio. Should be some others. Where are they? Yoo hoo. They're usually within visual range of each other, if not spell casting range. So I would think be pretty close by, but I don't see anything else turn blue. Okay, there they are. I see them now. Okay. I think the key to this is gonna be to start maybe over here. Confirm them. Oh, I see that was a reset, huh? Merlin himself would be proud. Oh, maybe you had to do that in order because the rate of the pillars as they sink was different. Well, not the rate, but in the distance they had to sink. And the first one looked almost completely down, so I bet that's what it was. If it was completely down the ground, it would have had the shortest fuse of the three of them. Yeah, okay. Well, that's a little bit of a twist compared to what I had to do on the others, I think, so. Okay, well, I'll give that credit for being a little bit more original Rebellion. than I thought it was going to be. Um, let's get a couple more of these chests. Alohomora. Looks like a glitch on there. I wonder if that's outside of the building, but it just looks like it's on the inside. Confringo. Nope, it's actually in there. Weird. Um, it looks like there's another thing outside here nearby. Okay. Revelio. That's a lot of nice little treasure. Let's go raid some other people's pantries. This one's just unlocked. Don't mind if I do. Wizard mannequins. I don't even know what to do with my money anymore. I'm pretty for sure I've purchased just about everything now, so I gotta figure out what to do. Alohomora. All right. Rebellion. What do we got? What do we got? Up we go. Botanical gold leaf. Wand handle up leaf. Okay. Let's go ahead and raid this last poor homeowner. And call our act of crime concluded for now. Alohomora. Crime spree. That's a phrase I'm looking for. Here's our chest. Let's 
Marty Fedora. <laughs> it's like a place right out of a storybook. It makes me wonder what is the most unusual looking character we can make. A celestial blue wand handle. Okay, I'll take it. Let's go get this big sack of money outside. It's probably got three well, coins in we're it. We're all very grateful for what you did. Nope. Still can't believe you rid Cragcroft of that rat Selwyn. No matter, I'm a gun for hire. Wand for hire, I guess, in this case. Okay. Um, let's go back to the room of requirement and we'll look around a little bit. I may actually call it a stream here soon because uh, by that time we'll be almost at an even hour. So let's see. Do you have some stuff to identify? All right. Oh, looks like a couple potential upgrades here. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's exciting. Okay, neither of those things. That's all right, though. Uh, let's see. So this is the 31 compared to 27. So the defense is already higher and this is a level two. So we would definitely exceed it if we get this put on and it's upgraded. So let's go <coughs> get it upgraded and we'll do the other ones too. Um, if it makes sense. So here's our eyewear and go into our upgrades. Okay, and then how about our other stuff? Just to verify. Yep, the minus three. So it's only plus three overall, but still, you know, decent. So let's go here and we'll go back to this. Okay, looks like that's a wash on the hat. And I want to double check Nick where and we don't have anything. Uh, let's see. So this is a level 26 and this is a 31. So looks like the same thing. Like we'll upgrade it and then it'll be plus three offense overall. Whoa, what is this? So this is way better. A two-tone house cloak. Um, looks pretty cool. The two-tone house cloak. Yeah, I think that this has got to be better in the end if we upgrade offense on their um, loom over here. Let's go look. Okay, what was it behind? It was behind on defense, right? I think that it like reverses the order of things in between the loom and our other page here. Um, okay, the defense is 18 higher and the offense is 12 lower. Versus, all right, let's see. 18, 12, and nine less there. These are both 31s. Oh, I mean a step down to nine because it's less of a gap. Okay. So either of these are the same, right? Like we go to this, 18 and three, 18 and 12. 18 and three, 18 and 12. So this one's got to be the better of the two. Okay. So now for the real part is how it's going to work on the upgrades. Cause I think that it was a defense update instead. This was plus 18 minus 12. Oh, maybe I'm right. Maybe I could go to the loom and if it's defense, we're good. So let's try again. Okay. Yeah. This should now be superior to it, period.
Yep. So plus 12 offense overall. Okay. Good. That's one little thing. I hope it will change is the reversal of those things. Uh, let's see. Secret solver is a nightwear. It's pretty funny. Um, let me do the appearance switch on this back to the dark art stuff. And we'll do the same thing here. There's a dark art thing. Yeah. And let's upgrade it on the loom once more. Ah, just need to grab one horn to put it at its max power level. Let's go double check that things worked out of the way. Oops, I thought they would. Yeah, minus 13 overall. So, wow. Yeah, when we get that upgraded, that's going to be even nicer. Okay. Pretty sure that our creatures could be groomed again, but I'm not in a huge uh, mood to do it yet. So, let's see. I think we definitely use a couple of tentacula. Alright. Doug Bog. That's what we need. Doug Bog tongue. Alright. Um, I feel like I had some beast to sell as well. So let's go in here and look. Maybe, alright, maybe I've already collected a little minus the deer call that I need to put up in the other place. We do have this little hippogriff that we could sell. It's now fully grown. So let's, uh, let's take it back. Actually, there's a hippogriff offspring too. So, hmm. We already have Cligo and Howie and their male and female, so I'll look after you. Let's do that. Okay. That's four species, so two of each. Okay. Let's go up in here. Alright. My little deer call is about to make a friend. Professor Howen will never believe this. A male and a female. Perfect. Okay. And let's check out the other room, see if we need to manage the beast. The beast! Alright. Destral offspring. We'll just go ahead and Settle take it yourself. through. I mean you no harm. We still need to get another unicorn and another purple toad. All right, let's uh, all head over to Hogsmeade and sell our clothes and the beast that we need to let go. Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. Oh shoot, it's my shiny. Wanna keep it. I don't know why it's in my inventory. We'll put it back after we get the other thing sold. Consider yourself welcome. Alright, now we need to find a vendor to sell the rest of this stuff to you. We'll just go to Gladder Eggs, I guess. I'm all out of the new socks, so if your feet are smelly, you'll have to work it out for yourself. Mm. 
Well, it had quite a bit actually to sell. Surprise. Oops. I suspect Meant to look at his uh, fashion. Be sure to stop by okay. whenever you're about. Let's see the gallantry cape. It's level 31. Loyal and kind cloak. The Emerald Highland attire. Cobalt debonair ensemble. And the Stinger dueling gloves. Okay. I think that's that way. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Let's see. Yes, yeah, so this is level 31 and it um it's overall going to be plus 12 on offense once we get the defense upgraded. So, let's go back to our uh, Room of Requirement, we'll deposit our shiny Puskeen, and we will also swap out our gloves, and we'll call it a day. Alright, come here little shiny buddy. We just took out the wrong one, I'm sorry. Oops. Come on. Everything's alright now. That's gonna drive me crazy that they're not in order now. I guess we can get that pretty easily though, just by pulling out the puskeens and putting back the ones we wanna keep. There we go. Uh, let's see. I'll look Two after minutes. you. All right. Shiny male, plain female, plain male. Okay. Okie dokie. I think I finally did it. Now let's identify our clothes and equip it. Or not identify, but upgrade. Dual, ru dueling, rugged dueling, and stinger. Looks like it's unequipped there. I don't understand. I thought I took that on earlier. I guess I didn't. Traits. Let's see. We can put up to level three in here. Hopefully, we got a couple new things to try. Do scorching three. Okay, I think that those gloves alone are like plus twelve. So, double check. Oops. Yeah, plus 12 on offense, so, all right, good. Good, good, we completed a challenge. Ah, oh, Necromantic Protection 3. Okay, we've almost made our way through it. Uh, let's check out our wand handles and we'll clear out our other thing too. It's getting all the little exclamations vaporized.
Here they are. Elsa Travers. Considered to be particularly close friends with Victor Rookwood. Um, Elsa Travers is all too good in her job as an Ashwinder. Travers has been one of Rookwood's most devoted followers from the beginning and helped Rookwood gain critical footing within Hogsmeade. There's somebody else I haven't done. Where? Ah, here we go. Lord of the Manor, the Infurious who was rich in life, though now the only indication of wealth is his clothing. <laughs> Ashwander's Skull Gloves, Paragothic Skull Gloves for the defeater of Ashwander is learned by dispatching of the danger safe, so I guess they will win. Oh, I guess I didn't find the other thing. Where is our other thing? Ha. Huh. Treasure Seekers Attire. Let's see, I think this may be the only one. Wizard Mannequins. Nope, oh, there's something more. The ruins. Ooh, big yawn there. Sorry. Okay. Wow. Actually, I'm kind of surprised and impressed. I'm halfway through level 31 now, just on those few little missions I did. So it feels like a great place to quit for the day after kind of rolling through all our other things. So let me just go ahead and say thanks for watching. It's been us here, Rank. You follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube as Tier Rank on each of those, and I'll have an upload on YouTube soon. Thanks, have a good day.